Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a cash stuffing envelope and it's going to be for my second paycheck of the month and that check I received today which is March 13th. Um, not too much things changed from what I budgeted for. So um, my current leftover is still 54.04 and then for my check I budget 10.60.78 but my check actually came out to be 12.06.53 and then that brought my total up to so 57.04 plus 12.06.53 that brings me to 12.63.57 Okay, and then for my cash envelopes, they all stayed the same. Um, let's see, groceries was 280, fuel 55, my husband's allowance was 20, my allowance was 20, pet was 20, and then $100 for my kid's school, which that still brought my total up to $495. Okay. And so minus $495. That brings it to $768 with 57 cents. And then for my sinking funds, these all stayed the same. So it was um, $44 for Christmas, $32 for back to school, $138 for house. Um, excuse me, that's my dog drinking water. And then family fun, I did $50. Birthday, $20. And then car maintenance, $20. And then I took out a total of $304 for my sinking fund. So minus $304 is a total of $464.57. And then, oops, you guys are out of frame. And then for um, savings, I always put $100 into savings. And so that leaves me with $664.57 left over. And I will probably wait until my husband gets paid because he does receive check on the 15th. So I'll probably just keep that same amount. Um, same amount until after his check and then I'll do just a big deposit into savings. So let's go on to the fun part, which is the cash stuffing part. So what I'll do is I'll just put the money on the side here. Okay, so the total amount that I took out this pay period is six hundred and ninety nine dollars okay so the first one is groceries which is two hundred and eighty so one two fifty seventy and eighty and then we've been doing really bad recently just because we are trying to clean our house and so we're basically halfway living here and then halfway living at my mom's house. Everything is at my mom's house, we, so we have no food. So after work and school, we just go to my mom's house and eat dinner and then come back and we sleep here and then get things done and ready. So we've been really bad with that. So for groceries, I currently, I currently have $10 for groceries. So, but I think Today, I think this weekend is actually going to be the last weekend that we're actually going to be here. Um, I've been cleaning. I don't know if you can see my my fingers are all um, cracked and dry, but I've been cleaning all weekend. Um, no, weekend, all week. Um, I did take off Thursday and Friday, both my husband and I, and that's what we've been doing is just cleaning and getting things ready. And but I, I'm probably sure that tomorrow meaning saturday is going to be our last night here so but yeah okay so for fuel is 55 dollars so 50 
five. And then for fuel, surprisingly, I still have money for fuel. I have 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. I have $57 for fuel, which is good. Okay. The next one is my husband's allowance and my allowance, and those are $20 each. So 20 and 20, so I will put these aside. The next one is pet, and that's $20 each. And then for pet, I currently have zero. They needed food, so um, I used up all the $45 to buy food. So plus 20 equals 20. Okay. Um, the next one is Christmas, which is $44. So 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. And for Christmas, I currently have, ah, currently have $443 plus 44 equals so then that brings my total up to so $443 plus 44 to $487 so $487 Okay. So So $487 for Christmas. That's how much I currently have. Okay. The next one is back to school, and that is $32. So we'll do uh, 20, 30, 31, 32. Okay, and then for back to school, I currently have $320. So 320 plus 32 leaves me with 352. So 352. Oh my gosh, so with this coronavirus, everybody here, I don't know if everybody in your guys' hometown is going crazy, but we needed some cleaning supplies because I ran out of cleaning supplies so I can clean the house and I went to the store and there was lines and lines, probably hours of wait. And then um, I couldn't find my normally cleaning supplies that I would buy and I just left it because I didn't want to wait an hour or so in line just to buy two bottles of Lysol. Um, all-purpose cleaner but it was ridiculous um, okay so then for house is 138 so a hundred uh, I can't get it 20 30 35 36 37 38 and then from a house um, I needed some items to complete so that we can finish this house that we're trying to sell and then also so I took out $56 because I needed I think it was paint to do some touch-up paint here in this house and then we got our Costco 
what is it, rewards points, and it was $680 for our rewards, and so we just cashed that out and we added it to this fund. So the total amount that I currently have is $2,254, and then I will be adding $38, so $313 plus $138 equals and the reason why we have, we got so much back from our Costco rewards is just because my husband uses um, the credit card for when he travels through work. And so he uses that, but then his work reimburses it. So we just pay it right back and we get those points for it. So I currently have $2,254. I'll be adding 138. That leaves me with two thousand three hundred and ninety two dollars and hold on a second for my um, house fund um, I'm probably gonna change some of these smaller bills the big bills okay And then, oh, I left the $100 bill. Okay. And then the next one is Family Fun, which is $50. And for Family Fun, I currently have zero. Okay, and then Birthday Fun is $20. And for birthday I believe let me see I currently have 10 15 16 dollars so 313 plus 20 that leaves me with 26 dollars let me double check 16 plus 20 see I said 26, but really 16 plus 20 is 36. Okay. That's why I always have my calculator because I'm not good at math. <laughs> Maybe that's why I wasn't good at with my money to start with. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one is car maintenance. So for car maintenance is $20. And so for my car maintenance, I currently have 270. So 313 plus 20 equals 290. Now let me double check because I'm not good with math. So 270 plus $20 equals $290. Okay. And let me see. Yeah, so then the total amount that I took out was $690. But anyways, but this is it for this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey. And I'll see you next time.